Welcome to Weekend Wisdom number 30. This week we're going to talk about thermal imaging cameras. Earlier this week I co-hosted a online event where we talked about the return to work safely protocol and uh, the data protection aspects uh, in regards to that. If you want to watch it back, go to YouTube and search for Breaking Bad Data Protection Practices. Now, if anything I'm about to say here gives you uh, cause for concern or questions, please feel free to contact me on the email address below here. So because thermal imaging cameras are actually processing health data, you need to carry out a data protection impact assessment uh, on the, the whole setup before you consider installing it. You can get guidance uh, on dataprotection.ie for a, doing a data protection impact assessment or DPIA. Uh, you have the right to screen your employees but you do not have the right to screen any member of the public or people who are not your employees. You just simply do not have that right. Uh, if you are thinking about using any visual or audible alerts from the equipment, these must be placed in a very private location where there is only the subject being screened uh, can be aware of these alerts. Uh, if you, the, this, the cameras come with uh, cloud storage capability, uh, I'd be very reluctant to use it until you're absolutely certain that the data is not taken outside of the EU. And finally, your processing health data, it needs to be protected. So if the cameras have the capability of emailing video clips, don't use them because email is not the most secure method for transmission of data. So that's it for this week. Let's be careful out there, and we'll talk to you again next week.